Up for sale 1957 Chevy Bel Air. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 57 Bel Air two door hard top, finished in red with red and black interior, frame off restoration, and babied since it was done. As always, go around and tell everything I do know about it. Put anything I do, see, fire it up, and then drive it. So, of course, we will start here in the front, as always. And uh, I'd like to just say the nicest Tri-5 I've had by a, by a long shot. Uh, all the sheet metal, the gaps, the finish, chrome trim, the interior is like crisp. It still looks brand new. Um, but let me focus just on the bumper here. It's got the, grill, the world gold grill in there, you see. Super nice. If I'm just going to be picky because of the type of car that is a little mark right there on the bump, on the uh, little piece of trim there. But I mean, this, this is just super nice. Long time owned, uh, probably restored around 20 years ago, and it just, you, you wouldn't believe it. Um, the shine, the quality of the paint, the depth of the color when you look at it. All the glass is excellent. All the trim is excellent. It's got the gold there. I always love that little touch. Uh, it's powered by, so it's a little more fun, 350 crate motor, which looks totally factory correct in there. M20 four speed, so they upgraded to a four speed. I like that. It's a little more fun on the road. Radial white wall tires with the spinner hubcaps, stainless steel dual exhaust. and factory style power steering now let me go ahead and open this and i'll show you again just let's just take a step back here look at the attention to detail in the compartment all the bolts not painted over the engine while being a 350 crate motor looks to like a correct 283 with the air cleaner with the valve covers with the way the engine is super nice firewall back there come over here you see the power brake booster again factory style and the power steering connected to the generator factory style just nice look how nice the radiators painted and all that just just a beautiful car let's get in here a little bit yeah, look at that the trim tag which i will take a picture of is back over there behind the uh, air cleaner Turnkey, smooth running. One pump and it fires right up every time. Nice attention to detail underneath the hood as well. Uh, but of course, going down the driver's side of the car. Show you how straight the body is. Yep. Little gold accents there. All the floors are painted red oxide. I'm not gonna say too much, just let the car speak for itself. And again, anything I do see point out or anything I noteworthy or that I do wanna talk about, talk about which would be the finish in here and how nice that looks. I do know. It's a couple little door edge marks right there. You know, it's bound to happen now and then. Look how nice the finish is in here. Look how nice the hem is on the metal. Not painted over the bolts. And again, going into the interior, everything's new. Door panel, this, and again, it still looks new. Door panel, both seats, carpet, headliner. I love the shifter that they put in for the bench seat. Nice molding. Nice finishing the door jams and all that. I'll take a step back and show you this. I got this steering wheel a little crooked. I just backed it on. But uh, look at that. 
If you told me these weren't sad, and I'd be like, okay, it makes sense. All the stainless is excellent. I wanted to show you this. The clock works. I mean, come on. That, that, that's when you know. Even the clock works. Every single one of these cars that I've owned of this type, no matter what, how nice, how old, where they have a clock there, it never works. This one works. And I mean, the paint on the dash is beautiful too. Look at that. I mean, and again, upgrading it to the, the uh, four speed from the column. There's no, you know, nub here. So nice, nice detail in that sense. And just a beautiful headliner. Absolutely beautiful. I'll show you the back seat while I'm here. Again, being picky, you see just because a little bit of an older frame off, 20 years, that little bit on the glass. But again, it's not, it's not bad. There's no cracks. Again, like I said, that's just me being very picky now in this upper echelon of a car. I did notice a certain light just a couple little imperfections in the paint right in this little section there. A little hard to see. I can kind of see it. I'm, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. Me being picky. I'd like to refocus my camera. Give me a second. Okay. Something blew up here. What is that? Out of here. <laughs> no touch-ups in the corners. You know, oftentimes they get marked up from over slamming and stuff like that. And again, gold accent here, and I love the gold license plate to complement it. Red carpet mats, I took them out because they're nice. Just pass them along. Spare, tire iron, jack, instructions, dual antennas. Nice finish in here as well. Oh, and again, the uh, under trunk lid looks fantastic too. You see how nice that weather stripping is in there. You see, you know, bolts not painted over, stuff like that. You see the little inserts in there. And again, like I said, anything I'm seeing, I'm pointing out. the door lines up to the to the quarter uh, pride of ownership is evident see nothing on this window nice that hem is there all the way up not painted over
will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you'd like to check it out, let us know. 57 Bel Air. It's a factory V8 car, by the way. It's got the V in the VIN. Factory colors. Frame off restoration. 350 crate motor. Muncie 4 speed. One of the only blemishes I've seen otherwise is this little touch up right on that lip. So, uh, thank you for watching. We're going to fire it up now. that even the clock works on the right? Yeah, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. <laughs> Actually, after this, I am eating. Just ate. Mm -hmm. Did you smell chicken while you were with the guys? No. I left it in. I forgot it. <laughs> Usually, I turn it halfway, but I didn't cook straight through. That one guy looks familiar. Yeah. He showed me pictures. He's like, oh, some lady came up and she says, name your price. And he sold it to her. I've seen that car before. I've seen it driving around. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the guy from Glendale Heights. I've seen him up and down uh, Army Trail and Rowling Road before. I think I've seen him at the Roselle show. That's probably why I know him. Yeah. I bet I've seen him. Oh, really? I'll tell you a funny story what they said. I haven't been there for a, in a long time. What is that, Thursday nights? If I went with my Benz, they'd probably paint it. You know, who I, you know who I haven't heard from? Ed. Oh, I thought you were going to say I'm still waiting for him to bring over the Caprice. Yeah.